Hello everyone, welcome back to another Community Game Night. I forgot to turn off my main light, but you know what? It works. Anyway, how's everyone doing? Uh, welcome back. We're going to be doing the usual, start with the Big Team Battle, move over to Custom Games. My hair is still wet because I had, not long ago had a bath. Uh, I think that the Frostbite effect set is actually good value compared to what has 
being sold before. 300 for each effect, plus 500 kill effect, 700 for an armor effect. It is isn't. it isn't. In, in the grand scheme of things, if you think most effects have been sold for 500, uh, some being sold for 1,000 for the individual effects, then it's okay. But it's the fact that it is one bundle being sold for 1,800 credits, when in reality it would have been much better if they sold them individually for 400 to 500 each. Sell the kill effect for 400, sell both the armor effects for 400, and sell the mythic effect set for 500. Now as a whole, that's still going to cost 1,700 if I'm doing my math right, which I believe I am. It's still going to cost 1.7k, which is a lot, but when you think you're buying a bundle here, you can't use this and this at the same time, even though they're both for different regions of your body, you can't use both of them at the same time. Now you can use this, this, and this if you want, but if instead you could buy them individually, like let's, let's say one week they sold this, the next week they sold this, and then this, and then this. They sell them each over a four week period, people can just buy the one they want, and the price doesn't seem as much of an issue, but because it's been sold for a bundle, that is, I mean, in the UK, that's still quite a lot of money, and in the US, that's basically $20, because you're going to have to buy 2,200 credits anyway, unless you've already got the credits, but that requires you having the credits. You've got to basically spend $20 on the game to get these four effects, two of which can't even be used at the same time. So, although, as a whole, the bundle isn't necessarily bad value, it's the fact that it shouldn't even be a bundle in the first place. They should have sold all the items individually, and that would have been much, much better, and people wouldn't have been as upset about it. I personally like the ski rack armor effect. I think that's kind of cool. The kill effect's fine. The the, the Verglass Dream effect set, that's fine too. But I'm not going to spend 1,800 credits on a bundle when I'm probably not even going to use most of these items anyway, even if I had them. Uh, so I just think, like, although the it's <laughs> the pricing is an issue, but it, in reality that would have been sold if they didn't sell it as a bundle. I I don't understand why people would have. I, it depends on the effects. Some effects, yeah, should have been together, but having two armor effects in the same set doesn't make any sense. It would have made more sense sell. Cold, I mean, if if we wanted them as bundles. You sell Cold Shoulder and Frostbite together, and you sell Ski Rack and Verglass Dream together. Or Verglass Dream and Cold Shoulder, and then Ski Rack and Frostbite. Don't sell two armor effects in the same bundle, because people can't use both. It's stupid, it makes no sense. I know I could put this on Eagle Strike, and I could put the other one on Tenrai if I wanted to. But regardless, that is still a stupid decision, because I can't use both. So unless you're going to give me the option to use both, which they're obviously not going to do, because unfortunately there isn't really a way for them to physically do that right now, don't put them both in the same bundle. I would have preferred them to be sold individually if it meant they were, they were going to be like 400 each. I could have just brought Ski Rack, which I probably would have done. If I could buy Ski Rack on its own, I probably would have brought it. It does seem like a winter contingency bundle, to be honest. This this seems like something that released during the Christmas event. I'm assuming the items that are going to release during the Christmas event are the... Um, so we know this is in the free battle pass. This is going to be free for the Christmas event. I believe this will be a shop bundle. This will definitely be a shop item. And then other things that are new that are going to be shop items are... It's not on this helmet for some reason. Uh, we've got the needle helmet attachment. This will be on the shop. Probably be like, probably be sold on its own for like 300, 400 credits. Uh, this one. The Santa hat's going to be free, but this one's paid. I'm assuming this and the candy cane are going to be in the same bundle. Yeah, having a pairing option would be awesome. Like, I mean, if, if we look at the, the current armor effect, you look at uh, wrong ones. Inevitability of war. Like, look at each armor effect and look how Neon Hawk, Neon Screen, they both start with the same word. Pack Master Glare, Trap Master Map. I know that one's actually, I think that's the only one that's different, so that's a bad example. This one's obviously its own thing. Judgment Helm, Judgment Mantle. Um, Cold Shoulder and Ski Rack, to be fair, is also a bad example. But beforehand, a lot of them. During season one, a little bit during season two, it seemed like a lot of the armor effects that were releasing were supposed to come to, like 
be together. Like, I, why can't I use Neon Hawk and Neon Screen? Because they look like they're intended to be together. Neon Screen actually goes kind of hard with Rampart, what the hell. Um, like, Judgment Helm and Judgment Mantle. Why can't I use them together? That would look a lot better. March of War and Inevitability of War. That would have been great. If I could use two effects. I mean, if it, really, it would make sense if you could use one on the head and one on the body. Uh, your feet would also count as part of the body. Um, so, like, I couldn't I couldn't use Ski Rack with Marlin T Buckets, but I could use Ski Rack with Perfect Sublimity. I could use Perfect Circle and Perfect Sublimity. Do you talk about the store or the Halo news every game night? I talk about it when I get asked about it, yes. Someone just subbed. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, we got Will and uh, Omnican. We're going to start with the Baiting Battle game. If anyone's after joining... Oh, in fact, do we start with Social Skirmish? Okay, we're going to start with Social Skirmish. I want to try it. Yeah, I, I talk about Halo News pretty much every game night because people ask about it, so... <laughs> I'm not just going to ignore people's questions. What's the meaning of life, bro? I don't know how to answer that one. Uh, shoot me a message after this game, Cody, and I will. Well, uh, shoot it during or after this game. Um, and then I'll buy it. Anyone that's after joining, just message me on Xbox. Game tags in the bottom left corner. Uh, and then I'll buy you when I remember to. <laughs> Still better than Overwatch. True. I mean, to be fair, it's not hard to be better than Overwatch, though, is it? Like, I mean, in a perfect world, these cosmetics would be dirt cheap. In a perfect world, these cosmetics would be way cheaper than they are. Like, I think 1,200's fine for an armor set. However, uh, it could... Oh, I meant sitting in game invite. I didn't mean invite to a party. Uh, I think 1,200 is fine for an armor set. However, it could be much better. Like, sure, I'd love 600 credits for an armor set. I'd love that. Unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. <laughs> This is just not going to come off, is it? Wait. Okay. That's embarrassing. This is an interesting one. Oh, is this just Fiesta? This is just Fiesta. Hold on. I thought maybe it was like like Brute Loadouts. Uh, I don't know. We might do Grey. My, my sweet one. There we go. Is this land grab? Slay holds. No, it's just Langrath. I can't believe I missed that. That's embarrassing. That is not the weapon I wanted. There's a new game mode called Slay Holds. I've not heard anything about him. I'm still taking damage from that. That's insane. Bro, that hammer swing, no! Oh, there's a mid loadout. Although... I mean, 
the strategy was use the Ravager to scare them out of the zone. But when they have a rocket launch here, unfortunately, that's not something I can do. This is just summarizing why I hate Fiesta. I love when my game mode, I love when my win chances are completely reliant on what weapons I spawn with. And there's only one zone, so everyone's going to be here. It's Strongholds and Slayer combined. So what, you still get points for kills, but you also get points for capturing the zones? That could be interesting. I messed up big time there. Okay, cool. God damn, bro. I'm fumbling so badly. Strongholds and Slayers combined is just Destiny's control game mode. <laughs> Isn't that literally what Warzone was? Like, you get to capture the zones, but you still got points from kills. Warzone went on a smaller scale and without the PvE. Without the stuff that made Warzone unique. Uh, I, I mean, it could still be fun, though. It could still be fun. You know what, though? This is a combination of two of my least favorite modes. It's Land Grab and Fiesta. Two modes that I hate. <laughs> Which probably summarizes why I'm not necessarily having a very good time on it. They made Ninja Slayer version of CTF. This playlist is... And it's so goddamn awful, right? Yeah, uh, that, that sounds... That sounds... Mm, that could potentially be alright, though. I could potentially see that one being okay. This, however, is literally just a combination of two of my least favorite modes, so... I swear if I like search for a game on here and here will last spawn standing, I'm actually gonna cry. I know it's not possible. I know that's not the case. Oh. This is matchmaking. Yeah, this is matchmaking. Eight in the morning for you. Oh, we need to cap one more zone. Come on, man. I don't think I've had a rocket launcher once. I've not spawned with a rocket launcher or energy sword once. I hate Fiesta so much. I hate this garbage mode. Seven twenty a.m. Almost threw up, but they added more variety to Fiesta playlist. Yeah, it, it is Fiesta with a bit more variety, which is like cool. But I don't like Fiesta. So <laughs> it's not super Fiesta, so it's like I just don't care. Oh come on, man! I love RNG. I love RNG so much. 
I can't wait to never touch this playlist again. Yeah, no worries, Poopy. I'm simply never going to play this ever again. Me when they mix my least favorite game modes together. Top on BTB. That looks good. I like that. It's a shame to play some custom games. Fair enough. Wales looks pretty cooling too. I like that too. That's, that's, we've got some good spawns here. How can we join? Uh, sorry, I don't know if I've. Uh, I, I don't know if I've. If you've only just sent that. Uh, send me a message on Xbox. My gamer tag is in the bottom left corner of your screen. Uh, down down that side. Um, yeah, <laughs> send me a message and I will send you an invite. Sorry, my brain just died for a second. I think. Why is he deadlocked? Did you know the UK swears more than every other country? I do. I am not surprised. I didn't, Brendan. Me when Halo Infinite forgets that he's got three other big. Me when Halo Infinite forgets he's got two other big team battle maps that aren't Breaker and Deadlock. I can't wait for more BTB maps to get added because I want to enjoy big team battle again, please. It's stock, but no, bro. I didn't even notice. Australia must be like a very close like competitor, right? If if, if it is like actually statistically the UK, uh, Australia's gotta be like pretty damn close, right? Where's the repulsor? Did no one grab a repulsor?
How are you doing, pirates? Uh, no, I'm playing on Xbox, but obviously if you're on PC, you can still join. Oh, just removed all ghosts from PTB. Um, how do you know, Alex? Uh, I, mm, no, I like the ghost. I just... It just feels so overpowered compared to the other vehicles, but I think it's because the only other the only vehicles that ever spawn at base are huh uh, the the only the only vehicles that spawn at base are the ghosts and the warthog and the mongoose. But can we really count the mongoose when it does absolutely nothing? It's only there for transport. I know on fragmentation the Razorback spawns, but the point is like there's only two offensive vehicles that spawn at base, which is the the Razorback, you know, which is the Warthog and the Ghost. Now, if occasionally the Ghost was switched for the Gongoose, if it was switched for the Chopper, the Chopper obviously spawns on BT BTB, but I don't know if the Chopper is ever a base vehicle. I could be wrong there, but I don't think the Chopper ever spawns a base. Then it wouldn't be so bad. It's the fact that the Ghost is like the, the most, the most common uh, offensive vehicle that's used, and because it's so quick, and it can be used so efficiently. What? <laughs> um, it can, because the ghost is like such a dangerous solo vehicle. It's so good. Mongoose is not a base vehicle. Mongoose is a va base vehicle. The mongoose is definitely a base vehicle. It literally spawns there. It's not spawning right now though. <laughs> right, right, okay. Okay, fair enough. Um... But yeah, the, the problem is that it's always the ghost. I think realistically, the best bet would be to switch it around occasionally. Sometimes instead of the ghost, have it be the gungus. Sometimes instead of the ghost, have it be the chopper. Um, it, it's just because it's always the ghost. So it, it gets it becomes so annoying. Um, why don't they just have scorpions at the start of the match that come out of all? Yeah, uh, although I don't know how fun that would be considering infinite scorpion is really busted. I think that could actually be extremely unfun, if I'm being completely honest. Because if your team loses their Scorpion straight away, uh, then it, you're just not winning. <laughs> you're just not winning. Why does my dog's... Huh? Huh? What? I'm... I'm, I, I, you, I'm just not going to ask. I'm not going to ask. Yeah, I, I enjoy the ghost. I think, really, the best bet for a tank that spawns at base would be the Wraith, because the Wraith is nowhere near as OP. The Wraith is so much easier to deal with. Um, but, no, I, d I don't think the Ghost should be removed. I ended up going off on such a tangent there. Bro, I was about to say, there was no way. There was no way. I think, though, the new big team battle map that's coming out in Season 3, I know we've still got a while to wait yet, uh, but that will have Scorpions that spawn at base and potentially Banshees or Wasps. Nah, High Power's good too. Fragmentation of High Power, okay. The, the good Halo Infinite maps, bad Halo maps. What? Oh, I'm strong. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. I I just... Huh? Fellas, I'm going to have to ask you to tone it down a bit. It's, it's, it's getting a little bit too weird, if I'm being honest. Okay, easy triple. Easy triple. Okay, cool. We got him. We got him.
Well, that's a yikes. My game froze and then I got... Yeah, that's... Oh, oh no. I, I think Omnic just left as well, so I think we're two plays down. Wraith is weird to use. What do you mean? Stop being so silly, guys. On oh, God. On oh, God. Too silly. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe a live chat was a mistake. Clown car. I feel like I should make my Discord mod stream mods. Ha! <laughs> you have a gravity helmet, but I have a needler, and the needler is better. Oh, we lost. I've barely used it. Maybe you just don't find it weird to use because you've used it that rarely. The Wraith feels, like, completely fine. Maybe you just don't find it. Oh. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Armstrong... Uh... Hold on. And... Right. He's a mod. Don't ban anyone unless I obviously ask you to. But you are mods now. Okay, cool. Easy game. Easy game. I mean, we lost, but still easy. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize we were losing, to be honest. I actually, like, didn't play too terribly, so... Like, 12 kills, 4 deaths. I'm not gonna complain. I don't need rocket launchers for anything. I was only, like, going on about the rocket launcher in that Fiesta match. What do you mean, where the hell are my parents? <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> Taz, try not to blow anything up, man. I'm not even sure if I can actually trust you to be moderated. <laughs> we'll do one more BTB. What do you mean, who are my parents? How is this How is this a question? What is this relating to? It's definitely not a raid. Definitely not a raid. I think I'd tell. I've had worse. I have I have had worse. No, I don't suffer from a lack of father figure. In fact, I'm currently building... Well, not at this exact second, but I am in the process of building a forge map with my father. Still don't understand how this is a relevant question, though. Like, where has this come from? Oh, the, whoa, 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 why did it go in the weapon? Oh my god. People want to join. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. Oh wait, that's that's just out. Okay. Um no never mind. No one's no one's asked to join. Okay. Less sad. Ice effect's cool, I'm just not paying this much for it. I'm just not paying that much. The man, this chat got way less sus when they saw blue names. True! I think we'll do some custom. This literally last matchmaking and then we'll go to customs. <laughs> yeah, I think Abby Lime's the only one I've ever used. I do own other one. Oh, wait, no. Okay, yeah, I'm using past tense now. Um, it's, it's a mod. <laughs> yeah, I literally only used Abby Lime up until the past tense one came out. Past tense is clean. See, I don't, I don't have like a major issue with people being weird and chat or anything. Uh, and to be fair, like, 
I wouldn't expect any of these people to get banned. Although they said some weird stuff, it's not like it's not like stuff where I think you need to be banned. If that had carried on, then it probably would have got there. Um, but you know, at the, at the end of the day, a lot of it, it's just a laugh, isn't it? It's just, just it's weird. Don't get me wrong, it's very weird. But it is just like it's it's just a bit of a goof. It's a bit of a silly. I love how the second map we got is Breaker. It's it's only ever Deadlock and Breaker. Um, but now I just realized like I I should probably make some of the people that are active and that are moderators on my Discord moderators in stream too, just in case there is an issue where I need moderators. Yeah, they, they, they toned down very quickly. The second I added mods, I think they, I think they thought I was gonna ban them. Which I wouldn't because they haven't really done anything wrong. Okay, CTF. I love CTF, but not on Breaker. How did that bounce off that wall, bro? trips over in real life. Do you want to send a shot? No, I hate the send a shot. If it's the only power weapon, I got on my way. Uh, no, if it's if it's like my only option, then I'll use the send a shot. But when I have other options, that guy had a rocket launcher. So my pipe, damn you, break. <laughs> I would honestly like if I like had a tragic accident, I would blame on Breaker. On God. It'd be cool if they respawned right now. Well, the guy, the thing is, the ghost, the ghost is always such a nuisance on this map. No one ever uses the ghost to try and cap. No one's ever going to drive up on the ghost and then try to cap your flag. People just use it to be annoying. I'm not driving that. I just want to put my skin on it. <laughs> Bro, what did he expect? He's here on his own on Breaker? That should have still AMP'd. I know he killed me, but that was two direct shots. Like, he should still... Oh my god, my spawn's back is broken. But, like, he should still be EMP'd. I don't understand why he didn't. That second shot clearly connected to Didn't he just get hijacked as well? Like, I just watched someone hijack him, I swear to God. Or whatever, man. Yeah, yeah use that to EMP the ghost, please. Or I can use the diamonds. Either one works. I, I've been noticing this bug happen a lot, where the weapon like pad doesn't fully open. It's a bit weird. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to leave. Like all they do is drive around in circles. Do you want snipe? Nah, it's alright. You keep it. You keep it. Your spawn was ascending. God had selected him to, to, to go to heaven, man. He was literally about to pick him up. Uh okay, I will take the sniper that's here though. Uh no I won't actually. Nah, no, nah, I don't I don't want the sniper, it's all it's all good. It's all good. I'll only end up messing up my shots. I don't think I need it for anything. Um, complete matches, win matches. Uh, I'll probably switch the last shot one because I don't care about that. Well, uh, I probably wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, but no, it's alright. I don't need power weapons. Hey there. Is 
Silly little default skin. Silly little def Oh, he blew me up still. Okay. But neither of them got the flag, so I don't care. <laughs> Remember when 343 nerfed frag so it would be harder to get kills from the grave? Yes, so do I. I mean, it's like a 0.1 second difference. I barely even notice if I'm being completely honest with you. Oh, we capped the flag. When did that happen? Oh my god, he literally went and stole the ghost. What a loser. Get out. Nah, I think the grenades are fine. Sorry about that, what do you mean? It wasn't you. I <laughs> check it out the ghost and just got snapped out of it. Bro, guys that just go around the ghost, the second they get an EMP, they don't know what to do anymore. Oh, wow, okay, fair enough. I didn't even notice. Can't tell me plasmas aren't OP after the easy. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Sergeant Evil with a $10 don't- Thank you so much, man. What the hell? How's the game night been so far? It's been pretty good. We've not been going at it too long. Uh, we're just- we're just- uh, we're just finishing up our matchmaking and then going to customs. Seriously, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Just supporting the content, love you vids. Cheers, man. I really appreciate that. Oh, I'm playing C or something, bro. The ghost kills you so easily in this game, like, like through where uh, through splattering. Well, well, it's it's very inconsistent because I feel like I can drive at someone head on. I can drive it to someone head on and it will it will like do no damage. I can like definitely like 30 miles an hour. Bam, like no, not even that. Like way faster, way faster. Like 60 miles an hour. BAM! I hit them in the face with a ghost. No damage. Or just a hit marker. Then all of a sudden some guy taps me lightly from the side and my spawn spine just collapses.
bizarre game. Where did he think he was going to go? You are camping around the corner with a sword. How many of these... There is... F four people on this team. And three on ours that are like, you know, default skins. Like, uh... Like using the... The basic... Um... Emblem. And basic armor and stuff. There's still new people coming to this game. That's pretty cool. Hmm... You might look stoked, by the way. Love the style and gameplay. About to hop on after work. Cheers, bro. Seriously, thank you. I uh, I I know I can do a lot better. Uh, I think it's okay. It's like it's a, it's a start. It was more so just to help me like adjust to the tools and get used to working Forge. Um, I mean, it is literally nothing compared to the one you've been making. But it's it's a start. So like, I'm I'm pretty happy with it for now. I just, I know I can do a lot better, which I, which I will be. I mean, the, the current map I'm working on is already leagues above it. Huh? Huh? My pilot on donated one. <laughs> huh? Who who who's out here with the with the fake Magpie Leon account? Thank you for the dono, but what? Oh no, I won't be showing you the current map I'm working on. Uh, but that should be done soon. We're just in the final. Fa you'll you'll see you'll see a name reveal when I when I pick my map. You'll see a name reveal. Uh, you'll see what it is we're working on. You just won't see the map. So I so I guess I guess in a way there's gonna be a sneak peek. But I'm very, very excited to release that. So my, my the first map I released is obviously something original. Uh, I went, I wanted to create something that was very close quarters, very action packed. It was a very close uh, quarters arena map that that required you getting very personal with your opponents. It can be used perfectly for one v one, two v two gameplay, and is also pretty good for four v four. Um, it can be played with oddball, it can play, be played for arena, and as a whole, it's just, you know, it, it's a decent map. Um, I know I can do a lot better, I know it's not the best forge map by any means, but the goal was to create something that was fun, that was action-packed, uh, and I think I've achieved that, as well, as you'll see when, uh, when, when we play it in a bit. Um, it's even come with its own game modes and everything. Now, the second map that I'm working on, which isn't just me. I'm working on it with two other people, so I can't take all the credit because they put just as much work in as I have. However, um, a lot of the stuff that I've learned from that will, I will use in future maps. And that map is a recreation of a map from a different game. Not not a different Halo game, it's from a different game in general. Uh, another Xbox game. You'll, you'll, see, you'll see what it is soon. Um, but I'm very, very excited to release that. And I think it is leagues above what I've made. My Pilot <laughs> to $1, that's an awfully hot coffee pot. Damn, I can't believe it's Eminem with the with a fake Magpie Lane account. Thank you again for the dollar. Which map is this? You don't know about this one. The map that we'll be playing in a bit will be the one I've made and released. The one that you obviously helped with. Which I made sure to, to credit you in the description, don't worry. Um... Armstrong, I, I mean, I'll mention this now, Armstrong helped with some of the foliage, some of the blockers, and some of the little details for the map, which was greatly appreciated. Uh, but no, this this current map I've been working on with my father and brother, and it's, um, it's shaping up pretty well. I was pretty happy with the trailer. I, I, again, I, I know I can do better. How are you doing, Joe? Uh, I'm assuming I'm assuming nods there. I'm assuming nods there. Hence the emoji spam. Bro, I'm gonna have to put you in timeout. I swear to God. Uh, anyway, um, my demon. Uh, yeah, I I know I, I know I can do better on both the trailer and 
map at level design fronts. Uh, like I say, the, the the first map that I made, the the amphitheater, it is really just like a test. Uh, it was it was just so I could get used to the tools. I've got another map planned for after after this current one is released, the, the group project. Uh, there's also there's also space boss which I'm working on with the members of the Discord. I haven't really touched that in a while, and I really should get around to finishing that. Um, what did you do? Did you just time them out? But I, I've got I've got some big plans for Forge stuff. Well, not necessarily big plans. I've got cool arena maps planned. Granted, I don't really play arena. Why well, you don't need to know what haven't you, bro? I'm so scared. Oh wait, it's Joe. Oh, Joe's the fake magpie Leon. This doesn't really help though, because it looks like I'm sending myself money. This is just a bit weird, if I'm being completely honest. I appreciate it, but it's kind of bizarre. Uh, if we can get an eighth person in, I would like to be able to test my map. I know Joe is, yeah. Oh my, oh my god, Null's map is cursed. It's not really a map yet, he's just been scripting some stuff and it's hilarious. I hoping to work on another, but I've gotten super carried away with the intro. <laughs> nice, nice. You gotta ignore that first one. You gotta ignore that first one. You didn't see that first map. Might play on a stream where we have more people you should check out to forge BTB map called Neurosis. That'd be cool. I mean, we can all, it's, it's not hard to get more people in. All we have to do is uh, create an Xbox post. But I would like to test my map. How do I remove them? Remove what? Twenty-seven kills. Nice. You sent me a, a message on Xbox. Did you? Oh! Okay, my bad. Did I just completely ignore that? I'm so sorry if I did. I'm so sorry if I just, like, completely ignored that. Yeah, no worries, Evil. There we go. Okay. Which mode do we want to play on? Do we want to play on Bouncy Bullets? Uh, you know, we'll play Bouncy Bullet Oddball. Bouncy ball oddball is fun. I'll be honest, I think this is the first time we're properly testing it with a 4v4. When I play tested it and all the footage for the trailer is all 3v3, I don't know how having an extra player in the... Uh, we should make chat sauce again. I don't know how having, adding an extra player into the mix would, uh, would be... I don't know if this is going to be hectic or not. Do you want to know something? Uh, that depends on what it is. <laughs> I've got I've got an update for this planned for next week, which will be toning down the red and also adding a new version of the map, which will come with a scripted mode. I'm big. All right, of course. Are you not in the game, JT? You are in the game, right? Yeah, you are in the game. Okay, cool. Why is he just showing me Armstrong? Um, okay. You already got Ultra Fist. It's not really that that I was referring to. Uh, I've got, I've got something else planned. You switch from the free battle pass once you've completed it um when you go to the battle pass tab there should be a, a section underneath it that says switch battle pass we play my map with viewers when it drops yeah i'm sure 100 percent
The center shot can be dangerous, man. Obviously, you can only switch to the other battle passes if you own them, though. For some reason, and I didn't know this until, like, more recently, if you never, if you haven't paid for the battle pass, all of the free cosmetics, like, if you, if you don't pay for the battle pass, uh, no, no, that's not correct. If you didn't unlock the free cosmetics during that season, those free cosmetics will no longer be available for free. And if you want them, you're going to have to pay for the battle pass. So if you don't own any of the other battle passes... If you didn't, um, if you don't play for free, then you won't get any of that stuff for free. And if you don't own the battle passes now, you can't switch to them without paying for them, which is kind of, uh, kind of stupid. Don't worry, I'm strong. I got you. Where is everyone? People are respawning in the map, right? No one's respawned out of the map. That would be really unfortunate if that were the case. Yep, get the ball, get the ball. Nice one, Taz. Nice one, Taz. So there's no free progression now. Yeah, if you've completed the free battle pass, there's basically no other free progression other than events. It's it's really dumb. You, like, if, if, if the other battle pass, if the free cosmetics in the other battle passes stayed free, then there would have been, like, a good backlog. And honestly, it kind of destroys the whole. Oh, we we want to, we didn't want like FOMO with our progression, so we're making sure all the battle passes have like free cosmetics and the permanent. Like in the, at that point, you're not your battle pass isn't really permanent, is it? So it's yeah, it's really stupid. Luckily, I mean, eventually we're gonna get like proper progression, um, but right now it's like. Hello, do you hate Fat Albert? Huh? Can I join after this match? Yeah, yeah. You added me just so. Yeah, it should be pretty easy to. This is this is great. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I'll, uh, I plan to drop an update that tones down the red a little bit. Um, although, personally, I like it. There's been a lot of feedback um, that it's a bit too red. So, I will tone the red lighting down a bit. Um... And I also want to uh, launch, like, a special game mode with it. Might add some more detailing, like, some more foliage and stuff, too. Not 100% sure on that front yet. Uh, but I'm hoping to drop that update next week. I should have really added an oddball spawn to the other... No, no, there's only ever one oddball spawn, anyway. Uh, I know I know. it seems bizarre that the oddball spawns there rather than being in the center, but obviously the weapon spawns in the center and I couldn't really have them both in the same spot. Um, I thought the, the oddball there is still the same distance from both teams, so it's not that big of a deal. It works. God damn, bro! That's an old thing. Okay. <laughs> Missed the jump up. Good job, Leon. Also notice that a lot of people like to try and steal your gamer tag. Uh, per se, got anything to say about it? Um, what do you mean? There's there's been one person who has changed their name and then donated to make it seem like I donated to myself, which was you know kind of funny, I guess. Uh, but I don't think I've seen anyone else that stole my gamer tag, unless this is just like a thing that's happened that I don't know about. Which, if that is the case, like, where people are changing the name to Magpie Leon on Xbox, then I found that very bizarre. I 
I need to know if this is actually like a thing that people are doing now, or are you just referring to the donation thing? Which now just looks weird. It just looks like I've been donating to myself. Um, I'll take this flat. Yeah, I mean, I guess maybe. I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> Falling down a little bit here. Mm. Oh! One towards them, and it's harder for them to hit you with a center shot. <laughs> Thanks, Halo Deca. I appreciate that. <laughs> Luca likes not exactly the same, just very similar. Referring to the uh, controller ASMR. I'm so sorry. My microphone's like right next to my controller. I <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry about that. It's very noticeable when I record like normal gameplay videos or when I do like stream highlight stuff and I can hear the controller while I'm editing and I'm like, yeah, I should do something about that. <laughs> but I don't really know what to do about it. Oh, we got this win. We got this win. Easy. Easy. Good game. Good game. It was very close. Like, both rounds were close. I know. I know it was too close, but still. You get one, you get one. That's some revamps. <laughs> you control A some more. By the way, if we can get to, to 3k before the end of the year, that would be awesome. And uh, and when when we do that. Obviously, at 3k, that's not just if it's the end of the year, that's just in general. We'll be doing the um, spawn ranking video, where I rate all your drip again. And I feel like the 3k one is going to be absolutely painful. This trade's taking forever. Rip. Uh, probably not Blood Gulch, because we really do not have enough people for Blood Gulch. Uh, although, I really need the toilet, so I'm going to be back in a sec.
box. Sorry about the wait, fellas. Uh, right, okay. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Um, if anyone asks, the yes, I worked in the blockers for this map. No, it isn't pretty, but it's functional. Like my cave tour, huh? Happen in chat, is <laughs> it? Expensive ice effect. Yeah, that's true. We spoke about the effect earlier. I, I might go back over it later. If, you know. Oh, well, you have more players now. Where did all these people come from? Insert meme of Patrick staring at the rock with all the eyes. Oh, yeah, I don't have any maps bootmarked anymore. I don't bootmark them to try and fix it. Okay, Detachment and Argyll are getting more plays than some of the actual arena maps now. Played Hexagon. Uh, oh, I really want to try Banishing Arrows. I want to do that for a video though. I know where those maps. Don't worry. We're just uh, we're just gonna be looking through some of the stuff. I think Argyll. Uh, d Detachment was the one I was looking forward to more, but after playing them both, I prefer Argyll. We don't have enough players for BTB. Uh, Go Guardians there. Plaza. Waffle House. This looks cool. Let's play Hexagon. We played Hexagon last time. Uh, we might play Hexagon. Um, oh, this is time for 4v4, and I just realized we don't have 4v4. We have 6v7. No. We have 6v5. Should probably do a free-for-all mode, really. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's going to be pretty painful. Warden. That's that's like a, a cool version of Guardian. Rainbow Road. Uh, we might do Ducklands again. Does this guy have a rip? Okay. I need a race mode with it. I'd have to try and find race again, which I don't really want to do. There's so many things on here now. Okay, fine. We'll do duck hunt. Zanzibar. Which which duck hunt though? It's duck hunt too. Like this one, good. Let's bookmark this. Known as profile. A few files. Okay, but we're gonna have one more than one sniper. Um. So, uh, we'll have three or two snipers. Of two snipers. I hope people don't start changing their own team. That would be really lame. Yeah, two two seems a bit more fair. Three seems like it'd be really unfair. So, we'll stick with two. 
as long as no one t changes teams, we should be good. We should be good. If this map is fine, oh my god, why is Peaky changing teams? Why did he change teams? Jesus. Right, good job, Leon. He's so slow at typing. Why would he change teams? This is just going to be unfair. You're literally not supposed to be on this team, my guy. This version looks much nicer, though. He's obviously not going to change teams. Why can't... It should only be... It should only be where the host can change teams, really. So if I'm telling people to not change teams, like, come on, man. It makes it unfair, else. they would still got to be, like, a somewhat fair chance for the other team to win. Stay on. Stay on the team. I'm not going to kick people, but... Can I not disable people changing? Oh my god! such a pain man this is why i don't use stupid modes like this when infection was a thing it wasn't a problem but this just take this is just so much effort just to get people on the right teams Oh, it's okay. I think Whale changed. Based Whale. No one else will change teams for some reason. I Like, come on, man. Don't be lame. Again, he, he didn't change teams originally. He, uh, he obviously joined uh, mid-game, but still. Where do we go? You just gotta keep going until you reach the top. I don't know how many of them are dead. Unless I'm still alive, okay.
Why am I so garbage? Why Why is there only one normal sniper rifle? It is Duck Hunt. It, it, none of these other snipers should be on here. It should just be the S7, like the normal S7. I don't understand why these other snipers are on here in the first place. I like the flex fire, but I don't want to be using the flex fire right now. I don't know how I feel about the revive. I think it's like it's a decent mechanic, but at the same time, they just constantly revive and just don't really like push forward enough. So it just it just feels like it's just going forever. Okay, cool. It's okay. It's kind of mid, if I'm being honest. I really think it should just be the S7. I really do not think the other sniper should be on here. Yeah, yeah, we're going to end up there anyway. Now we've got 13 people. We get more, but it's still too many. Eternity for No, we've got 13 people. Eternity's tiny. Oh, no worries, DJ. Don't worry about it, mate. If we got one more, we can do BCB maps. But... No, because we got unfair teams, Armstrong. We can't really do it. If we get one more, then it's fine. Bro, we can't do big team battle modes until we... Okay, never mind. We got one more. <laughs> uh... Oh, it's very, very accurate. Um... Okay, hold on. We'll, we'll do the one there. Armstrong has four first. Oh, this is the, like, spiritual successor to Narrow, isn't it? Where's BTB CTF? It's VS. Oh, there. Just to Ooh. definitely check. Classic Slayer, BTB or CTF. Hundreds of hours. I'm assuming it's designed for the correct version. Ooh. Right, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's eight on the other team for some reason. Who's talking though? Right, sorry mate. I'm going to have to mute you. Don't do BTB CTF. Why? Oh, Arena CTF. Also, you have unlimited grapple in this. Oh, that's sweet. 
Uh, BTB CTF breaks the flex button. Yeah, a lot of BTB maps just aren't set up for BTB CTF, which is hilarious. The Diminisher of Hope's on here. How you doing, Tron? Sorry, I, I completely uh, completely missed your message. How you doing, man? Okay. Okay, it looks good. Everyone spawns with grapples. And it's unlimited, so what, does it, like, constantly recharge? It does. Oh, wait, okay, no, it didn't recharge. So, is it unlimited? This looks really good, though. I don't know if this is the best template for the map, though. I feel like the space one would have fade more. I don't know. That's just me. This map, like, visually looks really good. Oh, there's a, there's a tank and no one's using it? I can't get in from that way. That's why no one's using it. How do I get in? Bro, how do you get in there? Yeah, sure, we'll get in the razor back. We'll get in the razor back. There's so much to this map as well, though. Like, it's, there's so much on it. Man! Is this it? Where am I? Oh, hello. How do I get there? Someone switched teams. Oh, wait, what the hell? One, two, three. No, I don't think someone switched teams. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh... No, no one switched teams. It's now an 8v9, so three people have joined. That's all. Which, like, yeah, now they're ahead, which is kind of unfortunate. But how the hell do I get up? Bro, this map looks cool, but I feel like navigating it is such a seizure with all the teleporters. It's so painful at times. Okay, I haven't played enough of it to say that yet. Wow, this area looks nice. Very creative B BTB map. Like, it it's clearly got, like, some elements of narrows to it, but it is, it is not narrows at all. It's very unique. What's that flag? Who's 
got our flag. Why? Why is that cinder shot so terrible, man? Was it even getting hit more? Because what was going on? Oh, they stole off like it, and I was literally the only one on them. Come on, man. Cool if I if I go up there and there isn't someone standing right there with a rocket launcher, that would be awesome. Good job. Good job. Good job. Ah, oh, this game. No, I I know it's a two shot kill. I shot him six times, bro. This the first shot hit him, exploded. The second shot bounced off of him, and every other shot I bounced towards him, and none of them killed. Yeah, I, I feel like it's almost got too many pathways. It's very cool. It is very, very cool. And I, I like, I mean, uh, we haven't finished the match yet, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. But it feels like there is too much. It feels like it's such a chore to navigate. Maybe if I play it more, then I'll get used to it a bit more, but... Cool. That's great. That's great when you don't mantle! Thank you, game! Thank you so much! Oh, man! There's too many fusion coils. There's too many weapons on this map that people can just insta-kill you with. To be fair, it's a Zamf 12v12 and playing it 7v7. But, like, goddamn.
I've been killed by the same guy three times. Are you following me? Are you literally just following me? I can't do anything because I just get snuck up on by the same guy and get killed with a fusion coil. This is so fun. And it's always with a fusion coil. There's too many, man. Within close proximity one another. They're not spread out. They're all just in the same spot. I'd really like to know what this button does without getting blown up, please. Does it do anything? Enter the vehicle. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is in the ship? Thought maybe uh, it'd be a way to fly the ship. That would have been awesome. What what does he mean by enter the vehicle? What vehicle? The truck? No. Huh? Easy win for that team, to be honest. I mean, when you look at the difference in the teams. But. Well, I'm the only one there! Because why would anyone else on my team try to stop them from capping? Why would anyone bother? That map seems so fine, but that's like, it's just too big for the map players. I, I just think it's best if people don't recommend huge maps when we only have a 7v7. Because <laughs> they're too big. They're too big for the map players we got. We don't have the people to defend the flag. We don't have the people to attack the flag. And then you have more people joining and the teams end up really uneven. I mean, now we've got 19 people in. It just, it just doesn't work when we don't have the players for it. Unlocked the Scorpions. Right, okay. So you have to go to the middle of the map to activate the scorpion at your base. That's really stupid. Uh, the map was cool, but we don't have the players to be playing maps of that caliber. We just do not have the, the players on right now. Maybe if it was a 10v10, be a bit different. But because people keep joining, it's very hard to... No race, please. Oh, I wasn't really going to do race anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you can't spawn kill. Yeah, that's that's fair, but like, mm. I think the switch should be activated at my own base. Yeah, I know he's Armstrong. I've, we've played Hexagon before. It's okay, but we did that last week. I want to try. I want to try some new stuff. I don't want to be playing the same stuff every week. Some of these look really cool. I just don't want any of them. Oh, so it's like I don't want to try it, and then it end up not being great. Also, the button in the middle blew up the sniper tower. All oh, right, okay.
This looks like it could be interesting. Wait, no, 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 no. I, oh my god, I forgot to change it to free for all. It's not, it's it's only designed for free-for-all. There's no point playing CTF on it. There's probably not even any flags for spawns. What is this? What zombies? Is this secretly infection? Huh? Bro, this is infection! This is infection! But like, actually scary! Huh? I wish I'd known that. This is infection, but cool! Is this infection but balanced? <laughs> the infected are fast. They have the red sword. They have shields. This is cool. This is infection. The infected feel like a threat. This is what it should be. It's a window. Oh, that's the door. This is the infection book god, bro! Someone made it!
That's why. Bro, I can't believe someone actually made infection, but good. I want to play that again. I want to play that again. That was really good. You got infection customs. You've got a subscriber here for sure. Oh, cheers, bro. Thank you. Okay, we're going to change it to the... Now that I know it's infection, we're going to change it to the mangler because that's closest to the magnum. I'm glad it didn't enable infinite ammo. That would have been pain. <laughs> this mode's awesome! Mark finds happy moments. Someone named himself. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, Nifty. No, I'm not my own top donor. I've not been sending myself money. Someone changed... The person that was the top donator changed the name to Magpie Leon. I don't know why. It was funny, but now it just kind of looks like I donated to myself. Magpie's happy for once. The reason I've gone for Heatwave and uh, Mangler before anyone asks is because they are the, actually the closer counterparts to what you would normally have in Infection. Mangler is much closer to the classic Magnum, uh, and the Heatwave is closer to the classic Shotgun in the sense that, obviously, as the bouncing bullets, so you could argue Bulldog gets closer. I just mean in the way that it reloads. God damn, when they slide at you, there's just nothing you can do. It's so good. It's good. I like it. Oh, and having the red sword really adds to the atmosphere, too. Mate, I'm in love with this infection mode. I'm in love with this. This is this is infection. This is what matchmaking infection should be like. There's no hiding in the corner with me. There's lobby accepting people for next game, so I'd be down. Uh, if you want to send me a message on Xbox, my game tag's in the bottom left corner. I will send you an invite for the next game. Why can't you ever play a good custom game like Rush? Bro, 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 we played that last time and it sucked. No, we didn't play that last stream, actually. We played that off stream and it still sucked. Oh, this is, this is so good. This is so good. Okay, I did put a second round on, by the way. There is a second round. Oh, wait. I didn't change the round limit. My bad. Mango socks. Skeleton shoe, to be honest. Okay, fine, 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 fine. We'll change it to the sidekick.
pre-nerf mango was amazing. To be fair, the mango itself didn't get nerfed. It was just the melee. It was just it's just the one shot melee isn't a thing anymore. The mango I'm pretty sure does the exact same damage. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the mango still does the exact same damage. Uh, Danny Wayne, if you are after joining, just let me know. No, because you still have the player outline, so it doesn't matter what content you wear, to be fair. There he is, there's a gamer. Sergeant Evil again with a ten dollar dono. Coolest map ever. Not gonna lie, this is hype. Imagine without player outlines, it would be bad spooky. Thank you, bro. God damn. Thank you again. Seriously. I'm gonna switch to. That's kind of fire, actually. It's kind of fire. I like that. I've used Scorpion Punch in a good while. That looks clean. Hi. Yeah, in fact, you should be able to see outlines. 100%. It, pre it prevents people from camping then, doesn't it? So. Okay. Um. Just gotta make sure I change the rounds again now because I've been off, so I'll probably change it. Yeah, right through his YouTube channel. I was gonna use Shadow Sorrel, but I, I like uh, I like um Well wow, everyone's coming on now, what the hell? Right, okay, we're just going to start the next game up. If anyone else is after joining, just join game. Just join the game. Or send me a message. You know the drill. You know the drill. You're going after this game. No worries, mate. This is good. 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 BTB next on board. If we have 20 or 22 players next game, then sure. Ah, clickbait, dude. Yeah, we'll do BTB after. I want to do one more infected. Now now that we've got it sorted. Bro, the stream's been insane. The stream has been wild. Oh, that's you. Okay. So you should be in now, I'm assuming. So, I've seen two people that have brought the ice effect. God damn. I forgot how cool Scorpion Punch was. Okay, who's it gonna make infected? Okay, I don't know. I forgot to change the weapons again. It's fine. It's fine. We do have some people that's infected now, don't we? You'll be in next game. No worries, mate. To be fair, some people have just joined, so you should be able to just join anyway. Some people have just left, so you might be able to just join anyway. Uh Oh, yeah. Okay, people are infected. I was a bit worried for a second there. Oh, this is terrifying. This is actually scary. I don't want to camp. I don't want to camp. But at the same time, I'm actually petrified. Just seeing the red outlines in the distance. It's like, oh, no. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> what? 
I was the fourth. Look how many there is. It's an army. This is so good. Oh my. This is actually the most fun I've had since I went to Rob Like, it's for a good while. For a good while. On God. On God. It's the most fun mode I've played since Forge has dropped. Someone has been chosen. I wish there was weapon spawns on the map. I mean, there might be, and I just haven't found any, but I really feel like there should be weapon spawns. A new hand touches the beacon. Oh, it's you. Okay. I oh, yeah, actually, this is the first time. This Well, this is the first time since, like, Halo, 2, uh, Halo 5, where playing as the infected is actually fun. And... Playing this to the survivors, terrifying. It's it's insane how quickly these all change from blue to red. Slide is open. It is. I like it though. It, it reminds me of having the thrusters in Halo 4's infection. Honestly, this is akin to Halo 4's infection. The invisible barriers, it's really fun and adds to the immersion. I'm sure you'll be okay, Russian. I was replying to a comment, I'm sorry. <sighs> Now I feel now I feel silly. Look how many infected there is now though. I looked it away and now everyone's infected. It's, it is crazy. I know I shouldn't reply to comments during stream, but I don't like uh, I don't like ignoring people. Survivor with energy so nah that'd be horrible. It'd be pointless and horrible. Front to 16th. Yikes. It's so ominous.
Russian L. Common Russian L. Becomes infected, goes AFK. <sighs> There's one close in there. There's one close. But where? To that. I should not have missed those shots. How's he like infected but not infected? What happened there? That's so weird. <laughs> you got kicked again. Bro, what are you what are you playing on? I don't understand why your game crashes so much. Oh, if I didn't have to mantle there. Huh? You have to kill this corner and kill him. Okay, okay. Was that was that where they were all hiding just? Where I failed to kill them. I have to find where that is now. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Easy game, easy game. That's that's fun. That is really fun. That is one of the best customs I've played, without a doubt. Make me host. I have plenty of BT boom mats. No. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I'm strong. Be a ten v ten once so I'm strong leaves. You can make custom or custom dragon sounds. I kind of want to look at that one. Is this like? This, this version's just got uh, B2B CTF. Let's try this one. This one good. This looks like very classic Blood Bulge. Can we do all the, uh, infection in other maps? No, because that version of infection is assigned to that map. Because it's with the scripting, so it's only on that map, unfortunately. Like, if you look, the mode we were playing was free for all. I want to try this version of Blood Gulch. Oh, they're starting it. It's not applying teams for some reason. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's ten me nine. Okay. Okay, no mind. It's ten me ten. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why are they the weapons? Oh, 
people are leaving now. Okay. Why are they the weapons? And it can't change you back to the fault. Or why is everyone switching teams? When do you think the Sea Lux helmet will be back? Uh, I don't know. Why is Cobra so much bigger? Oh my god, why are people changing teams? Oh, I love the second weekly team where people are like, I'm gonna change teams, I'm gonna change, that would be really funny. Why? Why? I arrange the teams, and then people change the teams. And I can't change it when the match is starting, and I can't change it in the match either. So it just ends up with one team so much bigger than the other. Because people just, just have to change the teams. They just have to. They have to go, I want to be on that team instead. I want to be on that team. Why? Why do you feel the need to ruin it? Because then I have to end it so I can change the teams again so the match is fair so that people actually want to play the game. Well, why? We've already got a full lobby, bro. We've already got a full lobby. Yeah, but if you do, Taz, we gotta also rely on a bunch of other people doing it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna arrange the teams and just tell people to not swap because I don't understand why people are doing it in the first place. Do not understand. Do not understand. Look at that, man! That is ridiculous. The problem with creating group posts is it's so much harder for people because, like, no one listens. Okay, it's a 10v10 now. No one change. Please. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Well, they can because you can still end up with like. Oh no! Great. To attempt to turn the stream is a 10. Thanks, man. Wrong game, way too heated to be honest.
Let's play. Let's play. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fun. Be really funny if it just doesn't start now, won't it? It's a bit awkward. Follow. Do we have a twelve v twelve? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Ah, uh, this this looks much more in line with like OG Blood Gulch. Like, much more in line with it, which is kind of cool. Not that the other versions, but by any means, the other versions also really cool. Okay, we got this, we got this. Yes, getting the flag, getting the flag. I just hope it works for BTB CTF, or this would be a real problem. Taz is going to be so happy about that. That was Taz. Oh, he's going to steal that tank. No, <laughs> he's going to steal that tank. Do we cap? Did we not cap? Okay. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, cool. Okay, is there still a flag spawn at our base? We need to make sure the flag is still out, otherwise we are screwed. Okay, there still is. We can still play the video game. Has leave? Do they have two people on that team leave? I'm not too sure. I think he thought that rocket killed me. Like he instantly turned around. That's a bit of a yikes. Oh, wow, that's still got quite a bit of time yet. Okay. Maybe I'll use the Banshee instead. 
Oh, DJ's taking the bad shit, and that's completely fine. It's completely okay. Can I have my tag now, though? Yes, I can. Oh, we've got both tanks. This could be very bad for the enemy team. Okay, well, I don't think we, any uh, we have both tanks any longer, but still. Oh, we do still have two tanks. Okay, I'm not going to spawn kill anymore. That was mean. That was mean. Me being the sole reason our team has kept any flags. Bro, are you sure it's not the fact that I was in the tank holding them off the entire time? Uh, yeah, sure, Jake. If you want to shoot me a message on Xbox, I'll buy after this game. Rest in peace, mate. We had a good little run there, though. We had a good little run, I think. I'm gonna head out for the night, Mike. Yeah, no worries, mate. Cheers for uh, hopping on. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Let me go. And the pulse carbine as well, please. Can we do the recommended version of coagulation? Uh, maybe. I have I have seen it. I just wanted to try this one. Sometimes it's uh, it's better to play the less popular one. Plus the spotlight on some other forges then, don't it?
Oh my god, my aim. Oh no, fumbled it so badly. Of course you had a Banshee supporting your role. Of course. Of course. Uh... It was a second guy, bro! Oh, we're a couple players down now as well. Great. Great. Awesome. It's alright, we just need stall and then we win. What the? Why does that do so much knockback? That'd be really cool if you didn't do that, though. So there's absolutely no way that insta blows a banjo. What? What is this paper mache banshee? What is that? That was pathetic. Wow, I forget how terrible the Banshee in this game is. That, that was atrociously bad. Like, actually embarrassing how terrible that is. Took no damage. How are you doing, Golden Brawler? They're all just sitting at base now. That's great. It's all right. We don't need to push anyway. We really don't need push. So we're, we're all good. We'll probably do one more after this game. And then uh, I think I'm going to call it there. After, after, after the next one. This isn't the last one. The next one will be. But obviously we'll be live again tomorrow anyway. So... Why are they all there?
Good game, good game. I like that map. I like that Blood Gulch. That is classic Blood Gulch, 100%. Do Delta Array map. Uh, okay. Is it just called Delta Array? Do we have enough players for this? Oh, we've got 26 people in the lobby. I get, I get the, like, the thing you want my... Oh, Delta Ray. Yeah, I've seen this one. Uh, like I said, I wanted to try one that isn't as popular to give it some representation. It, I don't always want to be playing just the popular maps. I, th I thought that was pretty good, to be honest. Ah, hold on. Okay, let's mix it up a bit. What are you doing? Uh, should we just the BTB Slayer? We need one more. Here's someone's fan. That's someone in my team. Hold on. Hell yeah, finally I made it in here. Yeah, where's my party in my dad? What? Well, that's what you better have said. Goddamn right. right. Goddamn right. I can hear you, man. I'm starting I another match. You know. uh, I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah, match found. Oh, I got some stuff. There we go. I feel like people are changing teams. This concerns me. This is going to be the last one anyway. So we're going to close out on a BTB Slayer. He lost 12. Uh, well, I'm assuming it's 12 v 11 then. Uh, it's 23 players in the lobby, so I can't really do anything about that, unfortunately. We'd have to hope someone else joins. Let's close it out with a bang, though, folks. Let's do this. Okay. It's 12 v 10. There's 23 in the lobby, so that's not physically possible. Unless someone left, but... Ooh, okay. I'm liking what I see. I'm li- Why is DJ over on the other side? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's 11 v 12. I, I can't really do anything about this, unfortunately. If someone else joins, then obviously that fixes it. Wow, this map is huge. Did this say it's a small-scale BTB map? This is, like, bigger than any of Infinite's pre-existing BTB maps. So small, small, small scale at all. Bro, my words just did not work for a second there. Unless I just misread the description, but yeah. I like this weapon spawn. That is cool. It's very cool. Oh. 
Oh. Okay, that's a banshee behind me. Yep. Yikes. That's um that's a banshee. I should have got the scorpion. Why did I not got the scorpion straight away? Is that a loot cave? Oh, hello. What the hell? <sighs> DJ just about scraped that one, let's see. I'm assuming that must just only be open for the other team, which is really cool if that's the case, to be fair. It's not really anything in here. I'm assuming that's a weapon spawn. Oh, crap. Wow, they are so far ahead. Have we got nothing to do with those banshees? Is there actually no anti-air support on this map? Because I'm assuming the Banshees is why they've got such like an incredible lead over us. Could be wrong, but... I love how the weapon... Like, I was done the weapon spawners, though. This map, it just feels too big, though. Like, it feels way too big. It's like nothing's going on, you know? Like, it's so quiet. And then there's five people in the same spot. Nothing happens, and then all of a sudden it's a 1v5. That's insane. Teleporter or something? Yeah, it is. Okay, the skew is on this map, so there is anti e anti uh, air vehicles, anti anti air weapons. Mm, I ran out of ammo. <laughs> I want the Q-Wave instead. 
Rushdown Hammer definitely does kill people. Definitely, definitely does kill people. The Rushdown Hammer is very good. Yeah, this map just, it's really cool, don't get me wrong, like, it is so cool, but it's way too big. I mean, looking at it from here, it looks like there's a lot going on. Like, you see this whole battlefield beneath here. But actually being down there, I feel like it's just nothing, 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 then all of a sudden I get killed by four people, and then I've got to, I've got to, like, walk halfway across the map again. Or take a grab left to a point. It just, it feels too, it feels so full yet so empty. I think BTB maps are a lot harder to create than arena maps. Because you gotta you got to get the size right, and you got to make sure the balance... It, like, you balance BTB much differently as well. I spawn in the middle of nowhere so I can't use a vehicle against the enemy vehicles. It's like, I I don't really know. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's cool, but I... Great. There's a scorpion there, and because I've spawned in the middle of the map, I've got absolutely no counter to it. I'm not surprised. We've got less players now as well. Great. It's like 10 minutes of walking for five. Exactly. Even if I kill someone, I've still got to then walk around. Like, I mean, yeah, sure, when they've got scorpions, it's probably a bit more enjoyable for them. Uh, but, like, it, like the, the, the logic still applies, you know. Yeah, this, uh, it's too big. It's just too big. Whale, you keep suggesting these kinds of maps. I don't think you're going to let Whale suggest anymore. This this doesn't feel like it's designed for Halo Infinite. This feels like it's a battlefield map. Like, it would work if there was, like, 24v24. But, like, I just come over here. They've got two scorpions. I've got no counter to the scorpions. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. This is the last match here. I mean... Was the Hydra there? Okay, weird. I saw like the pickup icon for a Hydra, and and they've got they've got a Banshee as well. So it's like I, I, I don't know, man. Granted, that's not a map issue. That's more of just things that are going on in the match. But as a whole, this map just feels too big. I just I'm wandering around. Oh, that's fair. I assumed I I assumed you'd played it. I assumed you'd played it before you, when you suggested it. But this does not feel like it's designed for infinite. Great. You're so cool, man. You are so cool! Oh, my God! Yeah, this one's kind of an L. It, it, looks, it looks great. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, it's so creative. There's a lot of really cool things about it, but it, it, just, it just doesn't feel like it's designed for Halo Infinite. Oh, my God. Why? Oh, uh, why are you spawn killing with a rocket launcher in a base? Why? You already have two tanks on your team and a Banshee. Do you really feel like that is necessary to win this match? Do you feel that that is something you need to do to win this game, bro? Yeah, I know where's my...
Why is there no weapon in here? Well, it feels like it should be a weapon room, you know? Like, can they not just make that a loot cave or something? Hack into it from both sides, that'd be cool. Oh, uh, right, okay, that's where the hammer is. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of that one. It's just it's just too big. It is so even with a twelve v twelve, that would still be too big. That is that's a battlefield map, that's not a Halo map. It's it's just way too big for Halo map. As cool as it looks, that was just so much of nothing happening. It's not it's not that it's bad map design. I mean the balancing was Okay, um, but as a whole, that's just, it, it feels like it's designed for a much higher player count. Anyway, I'm going to end that one there. We will be live again tomorrow at the same time, 9 o'clock UK time. So, um, yeah, if you want to join tomorrow's game night, like I said, start at the same time, 9pm UK time, uh, and I'll see you all then. Thank you all for stopping